this already, but we'll, we'll do it a bit more formally now. The first step is relaxing the body. Okay? If the body is not relaxed, you won't be able to reach deep states of meditation. Your body literally becomes a distraction. Just like the various <coughs> thoughts distract you, your body distracts you. You have to move, fidgets, the famous itchy wherever, I get the itchy shoulder, the, you know, we've all experienced that. You just can't stop thinking about it. The body itself becomes a distraction. Now you know why. Those are egos in the motor center trying to take you out of the present moment. So when you give in and scratch that itch, that's identifying with that ego, which is now taking you back out of the present moment. Okay? If we're constantly aware of our physical body, we remain trapped in it. Part of it, reaching a deep state of meditation and things like astral projection are being able to leave the physical body. While we're constantly aware of the physical body because we're uncomfortable or we have to move or fidget or whatever, then we're not ever going to experience what it's like to be out of the physical body. Proper relaxation is key. Uh, the physical body, I think of it like it's like a wall. It's like, uh, you know, you're itchy, you're uncomfortable, and uh, you, you gotta scratch, you gotta scratch, and I'm gonna lose it. If I don't scratch my nose, I'm gonna get it, and then it just goes away. It's kind of like a, a wall, and when, when you break through the wall, you lose track of your physical body. Um, you probably start to notice this if you've been practicing with meditation. You start to notice that you can't feel your hands anymore, or you can't feel your feet anymore. Eventually that uh, feeling comes over your entire body, and you just lose track of your physical body entirely. And that leads to different states like astral projection and, and deep states of meditation. Um, proper breathing is key to relaxing the body. And we've been working with the complete breath technique. That's where we slowly, deeply inhale through the nose, filling our lungs to maximum capacity, and then slowly, gently exhaling also through the nose until our lungs are completely empty. Just a slow, deep, rhythmic breathing is key to relaxing the physical body. After we've relaxed the physical body, the next step is relaxing the mind. And that's what the whole process of concentration is. Concentration is simply thinking a single thought with a purpose and not allowing our attention to drift from that thought. Okay, first we relax the physical body. Once it's in that relaxed state, you know, don't scratch, don't move, don't fidget, just totally forget about it. Just try not to identify with the physical body. Concentrate. If you're feeling itchy or feeling fidgety, it's because you're not concentrating enough. Okay? If you're aware of the people around you, the room you're in, it's because you're not concentrating enough. With concentration, normally our mind is everywhere. We want to make our mind like a laser. We want to shriek everything down to a single point. We just want to be aware of that one thing. Every meditation technique, really, it's just different ways of doing this. A visualization is something to concentrate on. A mantra is something to concentrate on. All the different practices that we're going to look at and the different practices from the various schools of wisdom around the world, they're all just different things to concentrate on. The exercise we're going to do today is a candle meditation. We're going to, I'm going to all sit in a circle around this candle, and what we're going to do is we're going to simply stare at the candle flame. Okay? First, we're going to close our eyes, and I'll take you through the process of relaxing the physical body, but then I'll say, open our eyes and stare at the candle. And all we're going to do is study intently for a minute or so everything we can about that candle. We're going to take a snapshot of it with our eyes. We're going to pretend that later on we have to recreate or paint a picture of this candle in every detail that it is showing us right now. So we're just going to simply stare at the candle. We're going to look at the flame, look at the light, the different colors of light in the flame itself, the area where there is no light around the wick. We're going to look at how the wick is. We're going to look at the candle itself, the shadow that's casting as the light dances around. Then we're going to close our eyes and hold that image of the candle for as long as we can. If we lose the image, it's okay to open our eyes and cheat to see it and bring it back again. But the whole purpose of this exercise is to not take the image of the candle from our mind. It's kind of neat because you stare at the candle long enough and close your eyes, it burns like an image in your retina. So it's like, oh, there's the candle. There's the image in my mind. And that helps you hold it a lot more. If a thought drifts in or something is trying to push into your mind, a thought or a memory, what you want to do is pretend you're throwing it in a flame and watch it burn. So this flame that exists in your mind is like an all-consuming flame, and it burns any thought, any memory, any emotion. The only thing that exists is this candle flame. And you want to hold on to that image for as long as you can. If you lose it, it's okay to open your eyes and peek at it again. But the whole purpose of this exercise is the candle flame. Nothing else exists except the candle flame. If you're thinking about work, you're not concentrating. If you're thinking about uh, noise you heard in this room, you're not concentrating. If you're thinking about the summer, you're not concentrating. If you're thinking about what time is this meditation going to be done, you're not concentrating. Okay? 
all that exists is the candle. Nothing else is real, nothing else matters. And firmly in your mind's eye, you should see the image of that candle flame and hold it for as long as you can. Okay, we'll take a, a few minute break and then we'll come back into our message.